Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest. Russia says it has used hypersonic missile. Zelensky urges a euro honest a euro peace talks a euro, live. Summary of headline article. What term do you want to search? Search with Google. From BBC under the main headline of P&O Ferries Sackings. Government to review contracts with ferry firm. Summary of headline article. It was a complete surprise. I would have understood if it was at the height of COVID. But now we're seeing the end of travel restrictions and the start of summer bookings. So this has come completely out of the blue, he said. From Daily Star under the main headline of Putin channels Hitler at sinister new rally as he vows. To rid world of Nazis. Summary of headline article. Sign up to the Daily Star's newsletter Vladimir Putin has vowed to rid the world of Nazism at a Hitler-style rally. The Russian president gave a pro-war speech in front of tens of thousands of Z flag-waving supporters at a Moscow stadium. PM Boris Johnson yesterday said Putin sees himself as heir to brutal Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin. The UK's Ministry of Defense has said Russian forces have made minimal progress this week. The powerful video lasting 1 minute and 10 seconds. Features a clock ticking and compares Putin to Hitler. From the Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war. What we know on day 24 of the invasion. Summary of headline article. Fighting has reached the center of the besieged Ukrainian city of Mariupol where 350,000 civilians have been stranded with little food or water. The Russian Defense Ministry said its forces were tightening the noose around the city and that fighting against nationalists was taking place in the city center. Mariupol's mayor, Vadim Boychenko, said fighting was very active. Hundreds of people remain buried under the rubble of a theater that was hit by a Russian airstrike. On Wednesday, Zelensky said, in a video address, he said more than 130 people had been rescued so far. From the sun under the main headline of moment Putin's kill squad open fire on building in Mariupol. Summary of headline article. This is the horror moment Putin's deadly kill squad opens fire on a high-rise building in Mariupol. Propaganda footage shows a group of heavily armed Chechen fighters blast the building appearing to be in a fierce standoff. It comes after Putin's troops bombed a theater in Mariupol said to be sheltering terrified people. Despite the word, children, being written outside the building. Mariupol has been under fire for more than two weeks and entire neighborhoods have been turned into wasteland. One local said, Mariupol is now just hell. Others reported seeing 22 aircraft dropping 100 bombs in just one day. From Evening Standard under the main headline of William and Kate cancel trip to Belize Farm after opposition from villagers. Summary of headline article. Tehe Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have cancelled a major visit planned for the start of their Caribbean tour after local residents voiced opposition to a royal trip to their Belize village. William and Kate were due to tour a cacao farm during the first full day of their tour on Sunday. But the royal engagement was removed from the schedule by their office on Friday. According to reports, a protest was staged on Friday opposing the royal visit to Akta, Ilha Cacao Farm in Indian Creek, village in the foothills of the Maya Mountains. Under the headline, Indian Creek villages don't want William the Prince to visit. Channel 7 reported on its website, Prince William and his wife.
Kate the Duchess of Cambridge arrive in Belize on Saturday afternoon, and a highlight of their trip is a visit to a cacao farm in the Toledo district. More than that Prince William is a patron of that conservation organization. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Ukraine-Russia latest news. Kremlin claims to have used hypersonic missiles for first time. Summary of headline article. Russia used its newest Kinzhal hypersonic missiles for the first time in Ukraine on Friday to destroy a weapons storage site in the country's west. The defense ministry has claimed the Kinzhal aviation missile system with hypersonic aeroballistic missiles destroyed a large underground warehouse containing missiles and aviation ammunition in the village of Delia and in the Ivano Frankisk region, the Russian Defense Ministry said Saturday. State news agency RIA Novosti said it was the first use of the Kinzhal hypersonic weapons during what Moscow calls a special military operation in Ukraine. Meanwhile, Russia has claimed that its soldiers have entered the center of the besieged port city of Mariupol, which has been bombarded by shelling for days. Units of the Donetsk People's Republic, with the support of the Russian armed forces, are also squeezing the encirclement. The defense ministry said, from Metro under the main headline of Russian cosmonauts arrive at ISS wearing colors of Ukrainian flag. Summary of headline article. The bright yellow and blue uniforms caught a lot of attention. Picture. App. Three Russian cosmonauts have arrived at the International Space Station wearing flight suits that appeared to match the colors of the Ukrainian flag. The team arrived at the space station three hours later joining two Russians, four Americans, and a German on the orbiting outpost. The trio were the first new arrivals on the space station since the start of the war in Ukraine. Last month, since the start of the conflict, people have used the Ukrainian flag and its colors to show solidarity with the country. Cosmonauts change into their flight suits en route once they no longer need to be wearing their pressure suits. From Mail Online under the main headline of Harry and Meghan, being lined up to present the best. Picture Oscar. Summary of headline article. Advertisement Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are being lined up to present the best picture Oscar. Next week despite both pulling out of Prince Philip's memorial service. March 27 the Oscars. Los Angeles Harry and Meghan may be attending the Oscars to present an award at the Dolby Theatre. In Los Angeles. March 29 Philip's memorial service. London Harry's spokesman has confirmed that the Duke and Duchess will not be flying to London too. Attend Prince Philip's memorial service in Westminster Abbey. April 16 The Invictus Games. H.J.O.L.L.A.N.D. Harry has confirmed that he will be attending the Invictus Games in The Hague. Holland on April 16. It came after Harry and Meghan announced they made donations to several charities including the Halo Trust. From Mail Online under the main headline of Rishi Sunak, considered resigning, over national insurance. MP claims summary of headline article. Rishi Sunak's relationship with Boris Johnson, completely disintegrated, to the point where the Chancellor, considered resigning, because of a row over the planned rise in national insurance. Contributions. An MP has claimed. Mr. Sunak said he was considering resigning. However, a Treasury source told the newspaper that any suggestion Mr. Sunak was considering his future as Chancellor was not true. Yesterday, Mr. Sunak doubled down on his decision to hike national insurance, pointing out that even Margaret Thatcher had to raise taxes. But the national insurance rise is a matter for the Chancellor. Meanwhile, 
Mr. Dowden said April's increases must be the high water mark. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.